Today we have a super cool recipe for you guys. We're making Canadian sand! And we've tried a ton of different recipes and this one is by far the best. You can make all sorts of different colors. Oh! <laughs> This kinetic sand that we're about to show you guys how to make is so soft and it's super fun to play with. And if you're new to our channel, hi, I'm Riley, I'm Reese, and I'm Grace. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. For more videos in the future, make sure to hit that notification bell. Now on to the video. And the things you'll be needing for this craft are one cup of sand, we decided to use white sand because we want to make a bunch of different colors. And we ordered our sand off of Amazon. Now, you might have to adapt your recipe. You might have to add more water depending on the type of sand you use. This grain is very fine. Acrylic paint, any colors of your choice. Half a teaspoon of dish soap. A tablespoon of cornstarch. Baby oil. Three to four pinches of slime. And half a cup of water. And last but not least, a bowl and something to mix with. We're all doing different colors. I'm doing orange, I'm doing blue, and I'm doing red. Our first step is you're going to pour, we're going to make a bowl for our dry ingredients and then a bowl for our wet ingredients. We've taken one cup of sand in one bowl. Now we're going to put a tablespoon of cornstarch and mix it into our sand. Oh. Whoa, I did it like an egg. It looks like an egg. Riley loves eggs. I hate eggs, everybody. And guys, if you didn't know, my sister loves eggs. She's obsessed with them and has them every morning. <laughs> More like I hate eggs and they're my worst nightmare. Do you have any eggs, Mom? I can put one on Riley. The next step is to take half a cup of water and put it into your bowl and then half a teaspoon of dish soap. Now you're going to mix it in. Now that we have our wet and dry ingredients ready, you're going to take about a quarter teaspoon of slime and stretch it out a little bit and put it in your bowl. And then you're just going to add a teeny bit of sand at a time and mix it in with your slime. As you're doing it, you're going to add in your wet ingredients while you're putting in your slime. Okay guys, so once your consistency starts to get really crumbly like this, you're going to want to add another piece of slime. When your kinetic sand is, when you pull it up, it should look a little stringy and crumbly at the same time. That's a good time to add your paint in. And the paint does not dye our hands like food coloring would, so we recommend using paint other than food coloring. Mom, I need the rest of my sand, I think. Oopsie. Okay guys, so I accidentally just put in a ton of water, so I'm going to need a lot more sand. We finished mixing all in all our sand, and this is what it came out like.
great craft for kids who love to get their hands messy. And if they really enjoy science. Because you have to really watch how much water you put in with your sand. And we encourage you to really use this recipe because we've tried a ton of other ones. Without slime, the other recipes create wet sand which could be, which could be molded but in the morning it dried out. 